This week, Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in Dayton, Ohio, to meet an engineer who designs fuel cells to power unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. We have a saying when it comes to small UAVs, it's a small UAV everywhere you don't want to be. By using these in the field, we enable our guys to look over the hill, go look at a city, go recon a building, or whatever they need to do to keep them out of harm's way. This is the Raven UAV. Uh, it's a backpack portable UAV. It means it's about four to five pounds. It can be hand launched uh, just by simply throwing it up in the air, operated by about two guys. Uh, the wingspan's about four feet, and uh, as you see, it's, it's pretty light. The UAV is flown using something very similar to a large Game Boy console. And then, depending on how the user wants to use it, they can downlink their video stream onto the computer, uh, rewind, fast forward, do whatever they need to do. Like most UAVs, Ravens get their energy from batteries. But Mark and his team have developed a smarter way to power them using fuel cells. I'm a chemical engineer by trade. Uh, we actually started out with a system for soldier portable power in the backpack. Uh, guys wanted to replace batteries, so we built them a fuel cell. And then someone said, hey, why don't we do the same thing in the air? Batteries keep the Raven in the air for almost an hour and a half. But with fuel cells, the Raven can fly for three or four hours, or even more. Now, if you see right here, this is actually the battery bay where we've previously put lithium polymer batteries. Uh, what we've been able to do is we've been able to develop a fuel cell that snaps right into that same battery bay. We're able to put a fairing right over the side, have it fit in, and now we have a fuel cell on a UAV. Most cars are powered by combustion engines. They burn gasoline, which causes gases to expand and run the motor. Batteries take chemicals and convert them into electrical energy, but they wear out. Fuel cells do both of these things even better. They take the hydrogen from any hydrocarbon fuel, like natural gas, methanol, or gasoline, and they use chemistry, not combustion, for power. A regular battery uh, stores energy just in the chemical form. A fuel cell is basically a small generator. All it does is it takes uh, whatever type of fuel you decide to use. Uh, there are many different types of fuel. Uh, we extract uh, hydrogen gas from that fuel. A hydrogen gas then goes into our fuel cell right here and is stripped of its electrons. Now the electrons travel up to complete a circuit, and that's going to be our circuit right there, provide power to whatever it is we need, while the hydrogen, the stripped hydrogen atoms, uh, proceed through the fuel cell. Now here, where they combine with ambient air, which contains uh, oxygen. From this, the hydrogen plus combines with the O2, and you get H2O, otherwise known as water vapor. So a fuel cell converts the hydrogen and oxygen into water. And during that process, it creates electricity, and it also gives off CO2. And since the emissions are just water and CO2, fuel cells are easy on the environment. Plus, they're really quiet and a lot more efficient than combustion engines. This is actually our first generation fuel cell uh, for the larger platform from about two, three years ago. This right here is our fuel cell stack. It's really the heart. Uh, it's what puts out the power. Over here, we have an air blower. Over here, we have our, our fuel pump. Uh, and back here, we have a lot of electronics, which really conditions the power that comes out. Uh, now we're down to about half this size, powering this smaller platform. And we actually have fuel cells that are about the size of a deck of cards. Mark and his team are busy dreaming up new uses for their fuel cells, like powering cell phones, radios, and lots of other devices. I think anyone who wants to pursue a career in whether it be science or technology can absolutely do so. Uh, one of my favorite things about working here is every month when I get the popular science magazine in my home, usually there's always uh, two or three articles in there. It's like, hey, I know that guy, or hey, you know, this is something we're working on. My dream as a little kid was to be an astronaut and a fighter pilot. Uh, obviously, I'm not there right now, but I actually think this is a better job than, than what I was wishing for. To find out more about fuel cells, hydrogen power, and UAVs, check out labtvonline.org.